My name is Daniel Ioannisian. I represent Union of Informed Citizens. Any war is a terrible, uh, 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 terrible in terms of humanitarian consequences. Uh, representatives of Azerbaijan speak about history today and not only today. I can also tell the story of my grandfather's family escaping from Shushi in Nagorno-Karabakh back in 1920 while the rest of the family were killed. But it will be more constructive to talk about the current behavior of, of states. During 2020 war, all Armenian towns and villages that came under control of Azerbaijan lost their Armenian populations. The few Armenians who did not manage to escape from arrival, uh, before arrival of Azerbaijani military were, were either captured or executed, as confirmed by independent investigative journalists. After the 2020 war, I had hoped that it make it uh, the end of conflict. But after the trilateral statement on ceasefire was signed, Azerbaijan uh, side captured the Hintagher, Khetzabert and Paruch villages of Nagorno-Karabakh, making it impossible for Armenian population to remain there. During these two years, Azerbaijan had been terrorizing the Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh in all possible ways. Azerbaijani soldiers shot at the workers who were working on the wires providing electricity to Nagorno-Karabakh, cut off the gas pipeline going to Nagorno-Karabakh from Armenia, and jammed the mobile network there. During this period, the armed forces of Azerbaijan regularly opened fire in, in the direction of Armenian villages in Nagorno-Karabakh, for example, Karmishuka, Tagavart, and Kharamort. They say that the Armenians living in Nagorno-Karabakh uh, Karabakh are citizens of Azerbaijan. Well, in that case, I can hardly imagine why Azerbaijan is shooting at those people and making them uh, live by all uh, possible means. Last month, Azerbaijan initiated a large-scale military attack, this time on internationally recognized territory of Armenia. As a result, people had to leave from more Armenian towns and villages. More than 7,000 7, uh, people became IDPs. Several civilians were killed. And I'm uh, afraid to imagine what would happen if Azerbaijani aggression had not been stopped on the second day uh, thanks to the efforts of, of the United States. The representatives of Azerbaijan also spoke about the issue of landmines. The death of any person due to a mine explosion is a tragedy. After the 2020 war, so-called 44-day 40 war, maps of minefields were handed over part by part in exchange of return of Armenian POWs. However, last year, Armenian side announced that the humanitarian issue cannot be a subject of trade and handed over all maps it has. Uh, here sorry, I should remind you. Yeah, I'm I'm concluding. Uh, I should remind you by holding that by holding Armenian POWs, Azerbaijan has turned the humanitarian issue into the subject of political pressure on Armenia. Uh, also, I would like to mention sorry, that I have to interrupt you. Really. Yeah, just I have to. five seconds. Also, I have to mention that setting up an international monitoring mission on Armenian-Azerbaijani border will definitely decrease the risk of new escalations.